Hello students, I'm going to discuss the quick solutions of All India Akash Test Series Medical 2020 for TYM students. Your test was held on 31st of March 2021. Your test is test number 7 code C and D. I'll be dealing with the botany section. So let's start with the very first question that is question number 91. Identify the cell organelle given below and select the correct statement with respect to this cell organelle. First option, it's a double membrane bound organelle, contains succinate dehydrogenase enzyme in its matrix. This is incorrect. Why? Because succinate dehydrogenase enzyme is found attached to the inner membrane of the mitochondria. Rest of the enzymes of the Krebs cycle are found in the matrix. Second, it performs photosynthesis. No, mitochondria is not associated with the photosynthesis. It is associated with the oxidation of food, means respiration. So, this is incorrect. Third is miniature biochemical factory where foodstuffs are completely oxidized to produce carbon dioxide and water. Yes, it is correct. It is the site for the aerobic respiration where food is completely oxidized into CO2 and water. Fourth contains single circular, single stranded DNA. It is double stranded DNA molecule. So, this option is also incorrect. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 92. In prokaryotes, vacuole that is found to provide buoyancy is, it is the gas vacuole which provides buoyancy to the organisms. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Sap vacuole is found in the plants, food vacuoles in the protist and contractile vacuole is found also in the protist. Let's move to the next question. Question number 93. Which of the given forms of lysosome performs exocytosis? The primary lysosome contains inactive enzymes. Secondary lysosome contains the active enzymes. Third is the residual bodies. These are the lysosomes which perform the function of exocytosis. They remove the undigested food out of the cell with the help of exocytosis. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Question number 94. Select the most possible reason with respect to active involvement of nucleolus in protein synthesis. First, nuclei are always large and more numerous in a cell. No, this is not the correct reason for being involved in the protein synthesis. Second, nucleolus is the site for our RNA synthesis. Yes, this is the one of the reasons that because nucleus is the site for the rRNA synthesis, it is actively involved in the protein synthesis. Third, nucleus is not bounded by any membrane. This is not the reason, although the statement is correct. Fourth, nucleus is not separated from rest of the cytoplasm. This is not the correct answer. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. Question number 95, how many of the given events occur or occurs in G2 phase of the cell cycle. If we see the phases of the cell cycle, there are phases G1, S, G2 and then this is the M phase. These all together are called the interphase. Now, A is DNA replication which occurs in the S phase. So, A occurs over here. Tubulin protein synthesis which is B, it occurs in the G2 phase. Now, C is central duplication. In animal cells, central duplication occurs in the S phase. So, C again occurs here. D, duplication of mitochondria. So, D occurs in the G2 phase. So, B and D, they occur in the G2 phase. So, how many of them occur in the G2 phase? There are two. So, the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. Mm -hmm. 